All right, we're going to look at polymodeling. And what polymodeling is, is basically taking the polys of an object and using them to model and turn that object into a more complicated object. So we're going to start with a box. And on our box, we're going to add several segments. Now, we're going to come over here to our realistic, and we're going to go um, down here to hidden lines, just so in our 3D view we can see where our faces, edges, and vertices are. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about there, I'll link a video to that so you can see that. So now we're just going to turn this into an editable poly. I right-clicked, convert to editable poly. And you can see we have other options over here now. We can select our vertice and we can move it. So if we want to create a point on that box, we can do that. We can select multiple vertices. We can select edges or multiple edges and I'm selecting multiple edges by hitting control when I do that. We can select face faces or the polygons Other options we have, if we select the edges and select one edge and then click on ring, you can see that it goes all the way around and we can move those. If we select that same edge and go to loop, you can see it goes around and again we can move those as well. we can select our polygons or our faces and we can extrude them by coming over here to our settings and then it gives us options here we can increase the extrusion we can actually go negative so we can create a hole in it and when you get done with that you can click this green checkbox to save that extrusion And under here, under Edit Geometry, there's a lot of options that we have in there as well. So for instance, Quick Slice, when you click here, you can see that the line goes all the way through the box at an angle. And click again, it actually created a slice there. Now I have some triangular polys in here. that I can work with. We also have the cut tool which allows us to cut through this box however we want to cut through it. And we'll end that by right clicking. We have some different shape polygons in there now. And we'll spend a lot of time in another video going through all of this stuff. But the idea behind this is, is that you can take this one simple shape, which started off as a box, And you can create it into something that it's not, such as a house.